gatekeepers for the gatekeepers. These guys saw up there a lot of action last year. And so they're starting off early here in April. Good chance to get a really good team from Carpenter to test them down there out here. That's right, and we are now on the way. That's the time to get a flannel team experience on the gatekeeper's side. As the fleet is going to leave Jammer for the gatekeepers. The state has really come along as a quality jammer for the gatekeepers in their local season, and he has been a really good style jammer for the gatekeepers uh, as well. Kurt Mangler, Kurt Mangler, <laughs> Mangler is the opposing jammer right now. All right, that's a grand slam for the state. And Steve and Nick is still struggling to get on the pass the first time here. I tell you what, right now that gatekeeper Bronson is doing a very nice job of cycling. Oh, good hit! Uh, well, Kurt Mangler has got five bags. Wow, just like that, the gatekeepers are going to now go on a power jam. We've got a go. Oh, jam. That's going to be another grand slam for the state. Really strong start from the blockers here of the, of the gatekeepers. All four guys doing a good job. Right now they're holding that sergeant slam to allow the state to continue to move here and try to power up here so the game can stand. Well, I don't know what the I gotta tell you, this this pass that right out there right now for the BTC is one of the strongest you're gonna see. Both Kurt Mangler and Step Defender with a lot of saddle game experience. And then on top of it, Papa Chapa and Udo Zabudo with a lot of saddle game experience. Two very strong jammers right there. And they're gonna have to go on the pass and try to get that power up there. Well, they're gonna have to go on the pass and try to get that power up there. And they've got a Janet Jackson equipment out there right now for Kurt Mangler. Looks like he's already built the truck. And it looks like the only way to stop Kurt Mangler from blocking today is to break his skin. And that turns out to be a quite an open round game for the team. He's really good at winning the war. Yeah, he definitely broke that truck. I can still see the, the ring around the, around the kitchen there. He's going to be in the truck. Hopefully we got some stairs on hand for him. We'll see if we can fix him up and get back on the track. He was a force to be reckoned with. I didn't expect the finger where the back of that pass is destroying the jammer, as well as holding back one of the blockers of the opposition. So the beginning of the jam, freaking nature stole the penalty box. That's going to mean that Jagged Little Will is out there all by his own for a power jam for the beekeepers. The good part for the Tulsa the team right now is they've got all four blockers out there. Even though this will be a lead jam for Jagged Little Will, they have a chance to kind of hold him up a little bit at this time. Very nice block there by his blood Zeppelin, forcing the opposing jammer back there to inside. Oh, that was blocking the back there, so this is good. Pulling the back as well. That was going to be a, oh, oh, Zeppelin will have a major cut there. Just forward, this is a power jam to the Tulsa Dirty Militia. So they're going to see if he's got to get some of these points back there. Tulsa Dirty Militia's jam, and Kurt Mason finally is now on a four and pass. The B-Keeper is racing to the front of that. The B-Keeper is going to try to dictate the pace here, and try to hold themselves up more than the fastest, and I don't want to get through it. They can't do it, and that turns out to be possible five point pass for Kurt Mason. And it is, it is a grand slam for Kurt Mason. So five points now on the board here across the Dirty Militia. And that's the Super Mario League. Across the Dirty Militia is happy to get off that zero slide there. He looks like it. And he's still out there. He's a jagged little well. They could be more in trouble on this game. And he's turning it around. And then he puts a the positive point on the board. And that's going to be another power jam for Super Mario League. That's another grand slam. Penalty's a bit of a factor right now for the beekeepers. We've got one block in the box and we've got their jammer in there. So this is this advantage is for Tulsa. There's no question about it. Definitely not a situation you want to be in with less than five minutes in the about. You've already given up, well, four teams have both given up a power jam. And right now the beekeepers are going to be down a man holding you back six in the city day. <laughs> You're not supposed to be proud of that. 
the bump was already kind of back in this one off on 15. It looked like they could have been opening up a big lead for the beekeepers. And that power jam got them a little bit closer. Looks like 10 names out there, I believe, for the Tulsa Derby Melissa. And for the beekeepers, that would be the same. With two blockers in the bench for the beekeepers right now, the Tulsa Derby Melissa has the advantage. I gotta tell you, so far the beekeepers have come out with a very imposing physical presence. And that kept the really shift that's in that jam there, because Papa Chapman lost the jam off the pace. The state was able to get lead game and the start of shot immediately after that move. Yeah, the state wants no turn on getting around and getting on the score now. And it looks like he picked up four on there. And that stretches the lead at 48 to 10 in favor of the DC. Very nice to see there for the state. Oh. Get himself through, get this four points, calls it off. So, very methodical effort with 10 men coming up very quickly behind him. Up next on the line for the Tulsa Dirty North is number 85, Windbreaker, going up against number 20, Jack Cuffender. Such a thing is kind of the uh, Jose Akendo of the gatekeepers. He seems to have all kinds of different positions, goals, jump up to the team. He absolutely is. We're going to see him play pretty much every position conceivable this evening, I would imagine. We'll see him as a blocker, we'll see him as a pivot, we'll see him as a scammer. He, he does it all. So it's Trenton the first one too, however, he picked up a four on and he is now your lead jammer. Looks like the lead game is going to be closer. So these guys are going to kind of feel each other out. Windbreaker walks for us, but he's got these different hands here. So, Sex Offender forced to the out of play. Hope to come around and come back in. And Tulsa's Windbreaker is going to call that thing out. Very good effort by Windbreaker to point the ball. He's got the biggest shot there. He's got a nice record on the way to the very end. He's got a nice combo to call the game off just in time. No points to expect the defender. So far, the beekeeper is putting out some very aggressive and physical packs. We're seeing another one here with Blood Zeppelin, Kurt Mangle, Democracy in Action, and Tallahassee Bird out there. Well, not for all, you can see big dudes on the team. <laughs> Good to see Kurt Mangle did a good statement when he was back out there. So we got Jack and Lil Will out there against Jamie and Lil Will. Jack and Lil Will against me. Yeah! Four people. Kurt Mangle wasting no time to come back from that equipment repair. Probably in the air and get his focus once again. Nice grand slam there by Jagger and Will. So much attention right now on this one over to Gamble, but he's going to be taking place early. But Jagger and Will has a very small profile. He's able to sneak through that pack a lot of times when opposing blockers don't even realize he's there. Yeah, exactly. He's got to see that. He's trying to get it in Jagger and Will. What a grand slam for Jagger and Will. I'll tell you what, right now, that combination of Blood Settler and Kurt Mag will just punish it. Call for jamming for it right now. And it's really difficult right now because the type of blood is trying to get the hot dog. And they take it off into blocking over there and select the camera for it. And they're going to kill it. So it will keep on going. Well, every time the Colts of ABT starts to put a wall together, either Kurt or whoever's out there just stretches right through it. Well, there's no question, Jack and Will will try to make this real for him and Darkstar. There's no question, there's a ton of talent in St. Louis from top to bottom. I mean, these guys, you mentioned before, all these guys have started for or took for the whole thing. It's definitely a luxury for the St. Louis Gatekeepers, the fact that they have such a strong team team. So I'll tell you what, it looks like Darkstar had a little more life. It was just 40 to more people for this camp. And Jack and Will will the beach is just dominating this entire game. It's close to the time you've been through for their first pass, man. Oh, man. Still, if you 
If you're looking for something to point that first jam and out soul PBR, available right here at this very venue, either at the tent bar or at the bar section down here where you are. Also be sure to hit up our merchandise table. We got a couple of people over there right now that would love to part you from your money. Please be sure to buy our merchandise to help fund our jersey endeavors. Let's go, how are we We're hoping to turn around here for Phil to give a chance to kind of shut it down and relax. You know you're down for the first time here in the first half, first time in the second half to come back. It's about execution. It's about trying to find ways to get past the hard, really, very tough-minded walls the beekeepers are putting up right now. It was actually a very smart time to call a time out to call so they probably they needed to regroup, maybe kill a little bit less momentum that the beekeepers have built up so far. And now they're going to come out and try to execute. Everybody is a set defender out there for the beekeeper. Going to get small for the dirty. So I'll have to find out. Talk to come down and get three January, which I believe is the first time they've had it this evening. I think that was the first three January they've had a uh, non power January. For sure. Well, the thing, they weren't even leave January at the house there. Wow. Well, just like Fox, the oh, come on, come on. Uh, gets the ball at the four bars. I gotta say, so far, Alpha Center has no answer to the physicality right now of the beekeepers blocking for it. So, up next on the line, it looks like Jagged Little Will out there for the beekeepers going up against, looks like, Marika Mason for Tulsa. Tulsa's been running for what, three games so far this evening? Small, freaking issue. This is 10 man at one point. Hold on, you get it back. Red Jack and Tony Lowe are all things as well, but Tony Lowe has a bit of a wheel going through, so we're going to test this game here by the top of the game. Look at that. 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 So, and after that timeout, we've now seen a bit of a momentum change as Tulsa has managed to grab Lee Jammer twice in a row now. And we were able to get a couple, it looks like a point on that jam. So that takes us to 79 17 with just over 1330 left in the first half. Come on, stop trying to defeat this team. TRX, Jackie and Pierce are your St. Louis' premier destination for getting some major appearances. The Penn friendly, talented, and professional tattoo artists on staff will take care of all your tattoo needs. While the three full-time juicers will take care of your piercing. The state returns to the draft with a jamming position for the beekeepers, and I think that's Poppy Windbreaker, I could be wrong, but find out here in this past. Actually, I do believe that's Daniel Boone. I think I got 50-50 chance. <laughs> <laughs> the state gets me. Yeah! And all the beekeepers. So the scene has really been going for a second. We're still trying to find a few people out there. This scene is just going to be everything that we can. Right now, the Nazi scene is actually putting Michael doing a nice job holding Daniel Boone at the back of the house. Did Chuck Michael get a tenure when he went to Tulsa one time? He was really punching at the end. And that was a grand slam, man. Oh, wow. And that's just a couple of times for a major point. And that's why it's good. This is a power game. That was a really great development, man. Kurt Langer with a very strong hit knocks down the opposing jammer, who then has to take out a blocker behind us. And you are responsible for your body when you go down. So he picks up a major low block. And now the beekeepers are back on the power trail. The thing is a really challenging jam to take down. He's big enough and strong enough to take all the hits. And I've seen a couple times tonight, Paul's just on the race of nature. He just struggles to keep on going. 
They don't sit down in one locker. A slow roller of a start there by the beekeeper. Controlling the back of the pack right now. A little game of chess going on right now between stuck this under the wind right here. <laughs> so Stuck is going to take a breather. <laughs> and let wind break to do all the work. So I call my wind break and try to get Stuck out there. And doesn't really work up in the game of picture, but probably a little, uh, little strategic in there. And yeah, there is a big game. You know, it's probably just as much a psychological play as it was a physical play in that Now, definitely not. Speck is one of the smarter early players you're going to see out yeah, there. A real student of the game. And he also knew the window. So, a couple of the other three. Windbreaker does make it to the middle of the pass. And he's going past the Speck defender. Speck will call the jail off. How far he's going to be in the first half. And he keeps it up really good. Get back 
back into action here. Set defender number 2020 on the line for the BC Blues going up against 85 Wingbreaker for Tulsa. Rocky Roller, our head left over with our scorekeepers right now, checking to make sure the score is correct. I'll tell you what, when you get a second right over there in our roast area, Biohazard Benny's over there selling tickets to the big arch rival Roller Girls local season championship, which is April 28th at Chasis Arena. That's right, that's, that's not, you heard me right, Chasis Arena downtown on the Sweet Panthers. That is going to be one hell of a trip. It is going to be big time, local Roller Derby, like no one's ever seen before. If you love Derby, Get yourself a ticket to the local championship for the outside world of the tickets. It's going to be an amazing, amazing night. That's right. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the night goes on. But right now, we're back in action. For a second, it looks like we're going to make it too. We've got Matt Stein on the top of this continuing all-hand walking effort by the BC. Wow. It looks like Mr. Tank's going to get sent off for a major roadblock. That's right, he is our lead dealer. Big hit there by Smalls at the front of that pack on hold of the U-back. You know, this is the team of my team. There's such a mirror in a lot of ways of actually looking at the other side of the world. Though. That's their development of the team. Yeah, it's an old team. You know, you, you can't always the beat team. I tell you what, they execute extremely well. They are very smart. They know how to play derby. This is a this is a team that is extremely good. And really to compete, I think, this the beat team with a lot of new teams across the country. Mm -hmm. and over. I think they're adding very well to the second left. You're looking at a lot of very good veteran leadership and set defender, Percy Control, a travel team veteran. One of the best blockers in the country. And, I mean, they practice with our A team, they do all the same strategy. So, I mean, they really are mirror images of each other. Three of the 
to the other one that's coming ahead. That would be uh, Walker Hamilton, a.k.a. Okay. Okay. You might have to see an exit. There, 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 Oh shoot, the first one going. Right now, it's, 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 yeah, pretty small and up. Referee Blueberry laying down the law, sending smalls off on major cat cut. And right now, if you believe, you might be wrong about standing in a little score in the next four for each of them. He is really going to step some power game this evening. Nice hit by Dow. Right now, 
Tulsa enjoying a three to two pack advantage as Wood jumping on top of Chapa and the penalty box for the beekeeper. So this is a jamming debut this evening for both teams. So Tom Randall is the lead junior, and Keelan is being sent off on major backlash. So Tom Randall will have a power jam, and his first jam looks to be a successful one. And he just throws off the ball from the blocker at Tulsa. All I have to say is that the white coat is playing, and I think a drug test is in order. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't think I've ever seen. So I think I'm going to need to sign and turn up with some anger management. Well, I've got Sean along to the big people. That's going to be number one, the Saints. While 31 T-Rex still sits in the penalty box for Tulsa. Only two blockers out there for the big people, but there are some penalty issues. Papa Chapa and Blue Blood Chapter are on the box. The soundboard's starting to freak me out a little bit. I like the soundboard, it's fun. One block advantage for the Tulsa Devon Lincoln. Saint Lincoln outside here, we get the lead jam. He was trying to push the beekeepers up over the 200 foot mark here on this game. Paul's just looking for some execution now. They're still in the front of the line. They're looking for ways to improve and learn as they continue to bring this back out here. Sustained with some very strong skating. And then he got that back. Now we talked about his physical play, his strength, his ability to, to take the hit. Tulsa tries to send two guys against him. He throws them both off, and one of the guys is Tulsa with the foul back. The same for his hammer is very physical, does not shy away from physical contact at all. And in fact, a lot of times you'll see him initiate contact on opposing jammers to take the advantage. And the beekeepers have both of the scoreboard. Where do you go, guys? Uh, uh, you can't have no sense exactly. They're exactly what they can have, I think. Hopefully, you have more coffee and more notice than the sergeant to be breaking the scoreboard. Oh, you're going to have to take it out of the scoreboard. Be right, right. Your eyes are not deceiving you. The score, the the, 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 the are not suddenly losing. It's uh, 209 to 24 is the score right now. There's no question this is the kind of execution and strong, dirty play that the beekeepers wanted to do tonight. Their first action of this season. They will see more action as the season goes on. So. Chance for these guys to get out there and really show their stuff. And in a lot of ways, pressure the All Stars and say, hey, look what we can do. Maybe you need to get me as an All Star team. Absolutely. I can tell you right now that there are some members on that All Star team for the BG that they're watching these guys play and go, man, I've got to work my tail off or I'm not going to be on the travel team for much longer. Walker Hamilton was the best out there slowing down the play to allow those blockers to be released. Ooh, 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 a nice hit, forcing small to the outside. Nice little hot step back inside by Jagger Little Will. He is going to lead Janet. He has been walking the field all the way along. So, Jenny Little Will falls off that jam as the line of is on his way to the penalty box for Tulsa. 
That's going to give the angle just like Papa Chapel. Just about ready to come out of his own box. So to start this game, we're going to see three on three in the pack. Well, that's a nice job for Papa in that game. He was able to get through and actually put Jagger and Will to call the game off. So successful game for Papa on that. No point score, three to see. What a longer. I don't know about you, but I'm heading over to party for me. I was just checking out the Kelly Boy Hair. Looks like everything's pretty good there still, too. So, she should have no problems with these guys all finishing the box tonight. And the will get the game for the beat What's the, uh, what's the feeling of a party cat corner right now? I feel a little subdued right now. I'm a little surprised. I don't feel like I'm any party cat corner, actually. It's pretty quiet over here. <laughs> They're saying that uh, for the main event. Bounce up. Oh, I've just been informed by Party Cat Corner that I'm painting them. It's a long time to do it. It is, yes. It is. There, there's a Wally veteran over there. He knows how that pain is. The team continues to put points in the middle. Still got out three points to the middle the team. The bombers for the beaches and just continue to push. Those jammers of the Derby Militia. So the Saints complete another grand slam. Daniel Boom now back in play. Okay, I, I want to point out something right now, man. Party, party corner. Party corner right now is letting the Saints have it, saying that he could score more points. Oh. They don't like his slow approach. Party Cat Corner is relentless. Well, he's already got 20 points. I'm not really sure what Party Cat Corner wants. Well, I think they think he could have 30. I want to point out one speed right now. I've been watching the TV. This is his debut, I believe, this TV. He's still a little bit more to see the TV. He's got Mark Zeppelin. He's just going to local for it. Mark Zeppelin has a very nice job in the past. Is the Party Cat Corner back here at 45 points? They're pretty demanding over there. I gotta tell you, the Saints in his time with the beekeepers has been absolutely amazing. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's averaging close to 100 points a game as a jammer for the beekeepers. So Mr. Anger himself, Kurt Mangle on the line for the beekeepers. Kurt Mangle, the wrecking ball, takes the jam line for the beekeepers. I guess one does, man. <laughs> it's just not fair what a guy that big is that agile. It's just not fair. This is a good emotion. It's a good emotion. So right now the score is 238 and 28 in favor of the beekeepers. And now on the line, once again, number 31 Jagged Little Will for the beekeepers. 85 windbreaker on the line for Tulsa. Slow start by both teams. Looking to kill some of that penalty time as each team has a blocker in the box right now. Three is moved on Wingbreaker, so referees don't agree with it. Wingbreaker, a little bit, so he's been called off. And this is a power jam for Dragon Hill Will. Dragon Hill Will has been increasing that power jam this evening on the DC. And in case you're wondering, any contact while a player is in the air will almost 100% of the time be called a major threat. You cannot make contact with an opposing skater while jumping. That's bad. It's on the porn, if they like to show. Yes, that's the preferred nomenclature. Yes. Jagged little 
Being hit from Tin Man. Yeah, Tin Man actually had a, had a really easy shot out there. The blockers for the Hurt and Orchard slowed down. They had to really get it up. And they give a nice, nice foul inside hit. Yeah, the blocking of Tulsa slowed Greg Little Will down. And he opened himself up. And Tin Man just laid a lick on him. <laughs> You know, the Dirty Lips have really had done a good job from time to time. They have had some good execution, they've had some good confidence. It's just, they're just a little behind in the skill level compared to the Dirty So it's not a clock on the movie, it's going to send Goliath off. Windbreaker back on the track. And Will's going to call it and hand off. So we have to have a little on a very big event coming up. April 28th, yes it is, at Chaffa's Arena. It's going to be their local league championship. Your first off, it's a doubleheader. Correct. You're going to see, I believe, the RFA take on the Swanson Eastwood for third place. That's right. And then immediately following, you're going to get the big humdinger. The 2 and one m take on the 3 and 0 Stunt Devil for the Archer of Orlando Girls Local League Championship. Tickets can be purchased over by uh, Merchandise Table, by our resident veterans over there selling tickets. The Stacey is going to be able to do tickets. And they're going to be able to do tickets. The MVP and the Stunt Devil is going to be able to do tickets. And they face each other. A last second comes from behind victory by the Stunt Devil. There's a lot of bad blood on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be a real problem out there. That's something to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to do this to the same team. I'm going to do this to the same team. I'm going to do this to the same team. I'm going to do Four and two dimensions five. I mean, 
I gotta tell you, there's not much more you can say with uh, this team people blocking. I mean, there's gonna be a team MVP. I mean, it's really been amazing. I mean, this has truly been a team effort tonight. They're cycling well, they're playing physical. So we're back in action. Number 85, Windbreaker, on the line for Tulsa for the beekeepers. It's none other than Jagged or Will. Nice outside move there by Windbreaker. He gets down. He stops his He wants the point very badly. Good point. And the game is full. Good point. B.A. blocking sign appears to be seeing his first action of the evening. And he's on his way to the middle block. And that's four points. A nice pass there by Windbreaker. Windbreaker takes advantage of him. Wow. Works by Jagger and Will going down the slope, crawling out of bounds before trying to get up, avoiding a major track pass. Oh, oh, oh. So those of you playing at home, the referee just went down. That means better than a drink. You can take care of all your pain needs at MidwestPainCenter.net. And the beekeepers can put their score to 300. That's like 100. No, 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 there's another. We're hiding the 200. Oh. I thought maybe this was some sort of crazy math we were dealing with. The tank is back out there for the beekeepers and starting to touch off on that. And it goes up against the lineup. And the lineup is just a lot of pain. To the face of Lee Dan. And Goliath is looking something. Don't forget to follow him with Bout. We're going to be announcing the MVP for both the PC person and the Tulsa Derby workout. And then right after that, we're going to get right back to the action. As the Gatekeeper Travel Team will face off against the Super Derby Dollars All Star Team. This is going to be a really, really amazing year, 2012, for the St. Louis Gatekeepers, as the Men's Roller Derby Championships will be held here in October. And so this is a chance for the men's team to get themselves some good comments and some time to hold their scores and really practice against a talented group of guys coming together to play. Meanwhile, the class meanwhile, and this first series raw of the night is going to lead Janet. So handrail continues the tradition of the beekeepers this evening. Whatever Janet will put out there, is able to get through and have a little jam. A band party cap corner is being properly prepared for the main event hammer. I do believe they are. The U.S. Marshal over there with his megaphone band. Hold on, Ian Buck. Stand up. Hand well in the third pass for his team. Three-point pass for the gatekeepers. So whatever button they push in, has been going their way all night long. Papa Chama, see his first action of the evening. And the Janet. 
who goes against Windbreaker. Uh, we're now keeping a very close track of the stats from the Windbreaker and Windbreaker has the North Point. So far, the season four contests. I would think that's probably a pretty safe bet. Very physical right now, just a very tight pass. Oh! I think I just got the wind back out of me by those guys. I caught that one. And that's really good to pop a jump, pop a chop up. And it's a power jam as well. And it's going to be called off. The pop a chop up. And then the Papa Chapa with a nice skating on him on the inside. Just certainly right along that inside line to pick up five points. Von Gates is on his way to the Polly Box for Tulsa. So that's going to give the beekeepers a full three pack advantage now. And then Papa Chapa. Going to the outside and getting very, very low. There was just no place for him to be hit. And he scores on a grand slam. Papa fighting his way through that pass. A very strong physical skater, Papa. Open track on the 